Capital Breakfast. And joining me on FaceTime right now is the most talked about person on the planet. Um, this is such an honour to have her on the show. You look confused as to me saying that, but it's dead true. No, Please welcome Taylor so Swift. Yes. <laughs> uh, Taylor, I mean, listen, it's been, I've got it here, it's been 531 days. 127,440 four, 400, 40 hours. I don't even know how many this is. 12,744. That's it, thank you. Uh, Taylor Swift, you've got brand new music yeah. out. This is amazing. I'm so excited. And thank you so much for talking to me. People are just very happy you're back. I mean, first of all, let's start with the music video. What was it like to film this? Because it's incredible. First of all, um, like that record and that number in general completely astonishes me. Like the fans doing that is so amazing. And I'm just so happy about that that like I love my job legitimately I love doing it and, and it's just so fun when they make it so fun to make a music video like when we're planning a music video and I know that it'll be really fun for them if we create like a scavenger hunt throughout the video like to me that's more fun than when I used to make videos and I didn't try to plant clues yeah like, I love this it's <laughs> So, it, but it, it's all bred from the fact that they've let me know over the years that they really are looking for every single detail. So that if they weren't interested in the details, then I wouldn't have fun putting them in the video. But there are so many little things that are hidden inside it. I mean, we've got an album name apparently hidden inside there as well. There's, um, okay, well, basically when, when new music comes out, when more music comes out, they'll realize that there are dozens of lyrical references and symbolic references but i try to do easter eggs in like kind of first round is like stuff that they can see that predicts what will happen in a couple months there's also like second tier easter oh eggs gosh. which will be revealed upon the album then there's third tier easter eggs which are the most deeply embedded easter eggs which will be like shown on the tour Oh, I'm so I feel like I feel like, like I feel like I feel like you're, you're the type of person that I'd want to talk to about like conspiracy <laughs> theories yeah. and stuff like that. Also, the track uh, Taylor, it's it's with Panic at the Disco's uh, Brendan Urie. That's insane. That's incredible. How did that happen? He's amazing. I've always been such a big fan of his. And um, back on the tour last summer, I went online afterward, and the fans were like, "Oh my god, I saw Brendan Urie at the show tonight." And I was like, "Oh man, I would have loved to have said hi to him because I'm such a big fan." And in my head, I was like, "Okay." I've got to think of if there's any kind of opportunity in the future for us to work together. Like, I've got to think about that to happen. And then when I was in the studio and I wrote the first half of the song Me with Joel Little, who's amazing, um, we kind of thought this should be a, this should be a duet because we don't want it to just look, we want it to look like there's confidence on both sides of a relationship and that that's what makes a relationship fun. Um, you know, so we wanted to have a kind of guy's perspective or like a love interest perspective. So I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about people and I was like, who's going to be as excited and enthusiastic about performing this, making this? Who's going to bring a playful mischief to it? Because the yeah. song isn't taking itself seriously. The song's seriously like, we were like, we can have none of this that seems serious. Yeah. Um, and so Brendan's got that kind of cheeky, mischievous, playful kind of vibe. And he's so enthusiastic, gives 100% of his you know, his enthusiasm to everything he does and it really just lifts the energy up. So this track's going to be on your album, right? And your when is the album coming yeah. out? <laughs> um, <laughs> I haven't exactly told people yet. Ooh, you can tell, tell us, us now. Yeah. I'm so flattered that you're curious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely going to tell people at a certain point in time, but I kind of have a way I want to go about doing it. Um, mm. Not that this isn't the way that I <laughs> want to go about doing it. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Forget the promo plan. Just, just, uh, just say it now. Oh, if you want, I'll tweet it. Yeah. I'll tweet it, Taylor. I can tweet it. It's fine. Okay. Have you named the album then? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh. What's the name? What's the name? <laughs> <laughs> it's in a music video. You gotta you find so it in much. there. Yeah. Oh my god. You gotta find it in there. Just before we go, uh, there, there is one thing that we've heard about, which is. Cats the Musical. Yeah. So, so Cats the Musical. Am I right in thinking you, you're heading into that? Yeah, I filmed, um, actually filmed it in London um, all throughout this winter. I filmed the Cats movie. I'm, I'm playing a little musical British cat. <laughs> <laughs> and then what, a way, what a way to end this interview. You're playing a little musical British cat. Um, the best lovely. Kind of cat. Yeah. Uh, Taylor, thank the you so kind. much. Taylor, thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you soon when you're back in the UK. Awesome. Bye, guys. Thanks so much. See you later, mate. See you for Taylor Swift. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>